Y254 Imagine Welcome back and of course this is all about youth and politics right here on Why in the Morning. My name is Ram Maguko. If you are just joining us, we are, we are discussing matters concerning the nation and you. And of course let's talk about one issue and then we wrap this conversation up. Okay, let's talk about the presidency and, of course, not just the presidency, but how zealous Kenyans have become when it comes to taking control over what is happening in the nation. I'm with Dennis Magota to my far right and Alvin Mokaya here joining us in studio. Now, on our daily nation today, in this particular uh, paper, a record 47 Kenyans have been cleared to run for presidents as uh, independent candidates in the August general election. Now, even as uh, major political parties plot spirited fights against politicians going it alone. So we are going to see a case where the main parties de have declared war on independent candidates. Now, if all of them go through the uh, final hurdle and are cleared to contest by the IEBC, uh, this could be Kenya's longest presidential election ballot paper since the multi-party election that took place in the year 1992. 47 candidates. And, 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 and to make it interesting, because those are 47 for presidency. When it comes to the uh, gubernatorial seats, in terms of governors, we are seeing and the total number of candidates who have been cleared to contest for governorship are 104. Hmm. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> let, let's talk about that, Avin. So, so uh, I think I'd uh, picked that point and let me finish. Uh, it is very democratic mm -hmm. and very okay for any Kenyan to step up to run for public office. Yes. Actually, uh, the public might know that Mokaya, before he went for the Nyamira senatorial seat, he was actually seeking to be uh, the president of the Republic of Kenya. But I said, let me consult the people. And charity begins at home. And the people told Mokaya, you know, come to Nyamira, serve us in the Senate for the next five years, and then we will give you the wings to fly to State House in 2027. So mm -hmm. I salute the people of Nyamira for that. Umesema so, that you are going to 2027, you are going for yeah, the high seat. For in 2027, I'm also going to run for president because I have what it takes. And this country doesn't want people with temper tantrums like our deputy president. It requires people who are sober, calm, like the former president, Mwai Kibaki. And it is insult to state because the, 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 the people surrounding the deputy president are now praising him and saying that he is the closest to come to Mwai Kibaki. Mwai Kibaki wasn't insulting his boss when he was a vice president. Have you, have you consulted your party leader in regards to you vying for presidency? Yes, he is buying now. <laughs> He's and buying what now. What if he, wa he wants to buy again in 2027? <laughs> if he wants to buy again in 2027, <laughs> yes. Honorable Mwangi Wairia is a gentleman. He's been the <laughs> governor of Moranga for two years. He has never insulted anyone, and he's a gentleman. We had a handshake with him. I said I'm going to support Mwangi Wairia in the 2022 general election because his household economic model has transformed the economy of Moranga. People have been given heifers, cows, and the milk is overflowing. It's like the proverbial land of Canaan where the milk and honey is flowing. <laughs> <laughs> and so, can, can you just hold it on for a minute? Yes. Would you rather where a presidential candidate is giving you the opportunity to get milk which you are going to sell and get money or he's going to give you handouts or a paltry 12 percent increase and uh, would you rather where you promised a wheelbarrow or where you are promised a cow <laughs> so my presidential candidate is promising kenyan's cows which are going to give rise to calves which are going to be a multiplier effect we are talking about the agriculture which is the backbone of our economy, is going to increase the household income. Mark the word household, because I mm. want to people to understand Usawa. We are equalizing household. So we don't have any household that is so rich or any household that is so R poor. Regardless of and the region. That is the difference between wheelbarronomics and Usawanomics. All right. Let me yes. go to you, Dennis. First of all, <laughs> yes. I want to say this, huh? Uh, as much as everybody has a democratic power to vie for any position, but there is still also the, uh, the, the unnamed or the unwritten rules. 
that first of all you must have the power to mobilize people you must have um, uh, the numbers I would like to say this uh, talking of Mwangi Wairi I don't want to talk about him so much because he, he has no effect to the to the country or even to the population uh, I'd like to say that uh, one thing. Okay, to the country, I, we, we can debate, but population, he adds to the number. Uh, no, <laughs> you know, we, you see, first of all, yes. uh, the project of giving out uh, cows at cows, he had said that they are coming to give out cows, mm -hmm. and to say we have uh, arid areas and semi-arid areas that mm. calves and cows cannot survive. So I don't know how they were going to come and tackle that. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. Secondly, yeah. um, the, party, the party is... Uh, Mo is only known in Moranga. I don't know if it will work in Kisi. Uh, for a presidential uh, campaign, you need a party that is known all over the country because there is more than just being a president. You'll need numbers in the parliament to run to, to smoothly run the government. Mm. So the others are just pace runners. In a marathon, we have one uh, almost uh, 20 people uh, in the in the starting lane, but in the finishing, we'll only have maybe Kemboy and Kenekisa Bekele at the finishing lane so, so the, rest, the rest are, oh, the, the rest are flower girls the rest are flower girls you're saying 40 uh, out of 47 yes. only only two, two two you only two the rest are the ones flower. that they got yes the, the rest are including flower girls we do include in, in fact <laughs> the the most the most useless flower girl is is mwangi wa area because that, that, that's we, no, we, we can't say that uh, on air we, we, we uh, can't uh, we, we, we just i would like you to withdraw we, that we i will throw that why i will throw that but i will throw that i will throw that but let me let me put let me put this this way i will throw that but let me put it this way uh in fact jimmy wanjigi is better than Mwangi Wairia then. Okay, so as I continue, you allow me to finish. Yes, finish, yes. Um, uh, I've, not see, I've not seen anywhere where the deputy president has said uh, uh, the, uh, the, with, any, with any bitterness. I don't know why they are, they are, they are, say, they are saying deputy president is bitter. He's just answering as a normal citizen what, uh, what is allegate, uh, the allegation against him. So um, I like to tell the others, it's good and it is democratic right for you to, uh, to vie for any position. But don't go there for personal benefit or personal gain. Most of them are saying that let me just go to the limelight. Maybe after this I'll get an appointment on, on staff and staff and staff. If you are serious about running a position, right now we could have seen uh, them all over the country. We could have seen offices of uh, the Usawa party in, or any other party. Uh, all over the all over the, all over the country all over the 47 counties uh, in terms of gubernatorial seat uh, in, uh, in 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 a county uh, there is no limit of how many governors should uh, go for the position so even if there are 300 at the end of the day people will decide and as i said it depends on you if you are vying for a senator like mokaya in kisi uh, how, uh, in Yamira. In Yamira, I'm mm. sorry, Yamira. Mm. How does the people relate to you there? Do you have the numbers? There is reality. At the end of the day, you need votes to, to, to win. You see, people are saying, I'm, I'm vying, I'm vying, I'm vying. But there's the reality at the end of the day. There's the resources. You must use resources. You must have the best ag agendas. And you must be a good mobilizer of people. Right. Because uh, numbers count in, count in politics. Right. Now, let, me, let me come to you for the joint. Yes. Uh, my good friend, Dennis. Uh, but you are also not telling people that you are running in Kasarani and that UDA um, did not uh, allow you to have the numbers. <laughs> no, UDA didn't allow me to have the numbers. Uh, it, it, it is not the way like you are putting it, but we went to nomination and the best candidate won. And we, we accepted it and we respect the, the, we respect the decision. And as you say, uh, you see the Usawa party is our hold now. UDA just started a, a, I think a year. You have responded I, yeah. to what I asked. Uh, I, uh, I mean, I, 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 and, and let I'll, me, let I'll, me I'll, have my time. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, and I'll give you time. Let me come to you because of what, the question you've asked about the nominations. Mm. Um, so currently, you stepped down for uh, from the parliamentary seat. We didn't step down. Yeah. We 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 were we, the best candidate won in nomination. At the nominations. Yes. All right. So now, um, your, how will your focus be? Um, currently, our Where focus. We are so loyal to their 
to the to the strongest party in the country right now, mm -hmm. and we are focusing on presidential uh, uh, campaigns and also the gubernatorial, senatorial, women rep, and the guy that uh, uh, that took the day in our in our in the in our constituency. Who you are going to support? Uh, yes, we are going to support him oh. definitely because the, right. the nomination were free and fair. Right. Now a party a party na, like na, the one of my friend, oh. we have not seen even na, one nomination, na, na, even na, na, one in forty seven counties. <laughs> How do, can you tell me that, that wait, wait, they are serious? No, 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 they are not to, serious about anything. No, they are just uh, doing what we call, because it is democratic, no, right? No, no, no. Public relation, only that PR, for, it's just for Now you are getting right. out of point. Me, <laughs> le, 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 okay, you, you, have, you have deviated. <laughs> you have deviated, Mr. Dennis. But yes, um, you can go back to your point now. You, yes. you, you have deviated, mm. and we must correct you here on air, because you have uh, lied to Kenyans live on the cameras. First of all, the governor of Moranga, Mwangwariya, who is my friend and uh, uh, presidential aspirant, has run Moranga for two terms. Perhaps one of the only uh, central Kenya, Mount Kenya governors to have finished two, two terms and interrupted. We've seen how the shenanigans in other counties have happened. And so, uh, to Kenyans, uh, does uh, someone called Mwangi, who is a man, does that qualify for a flower girl? No. So I think, Dennis, there you veered off the point. And uh, to call a leader of any stage, even an MCA in this country, useless is also an insult. And you see this is the problem with the UDA people. They, they feel entitled. And, and this comes from the top. Because their deputy president, uh, you know, threatens everyone, and they also feel they have the right to threaten everyone. But we can't threaten people on air. This country deserves peace. This country deserves respect. And running for political office doesn't now, Alvin, mean Alvin, Alvin, you call people names. Let, let me quote you. You said their deputy president. Yeah. Is he not your deputy president too, ah. as a Kenyan. You see now that's wait, another wait. problem. Let, let, these let, guys, let me, these guys, they're they pushing, they're pushing, you, they are pushing you, you, wait, you need, let him be, you need to be calm. Let me now, let, let him respond, let, no, let him respond, and then I'll respect come. Them. <laughs> respect okay, the moderator. Okay, so okay. Yes, yes. With all due respect, Dennis, you need to respect the moderator. And we are national, live on national television, and we must know how to conduct ourselves when we come to this. Because we are No, you're also deviating. Answer me. Respond to the question. Okay. He... He, he is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. Whether I respect that, I don't know because I did not choose him. So I, I, I read he, it. By, 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 the, by, by the fact that you mentioned that all leaders need to be given the respect they deserve, therefore, because he was elected together with the president on one vote, under one vote, Therefore, that is your Okay, let me, leader. let me be honest. Mm. I used to respect him uh, when he was uh, deputy president and doing his duties. But when he, he deviated, just like his boss, the president, I also started asking myself, if I were the president and my junior is politicking from day one after the swearing in, after general election, is that what the constitution says that you must form another political party and campaign against your president and yet you call yourself the deputy president, if that definition does not fit in that, then I do not recognize William Ruto as the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. But as long as he was loyal to the president and doing his constitutional mandate, then I respected that. So All we right. must also call out what is wrong. We must call a spade a spade. We can't cheer because we are, we are looking at the other leaders who are coming to be deputy presidents. Are we going to cheer this one and then allow the others and let the illusion of power move away from individuals' minds. Anybody in the Republic of Kenya right now, including you, Ram, you're qualified even to be a, a deputy president. So the one who is holding that office, it is by virtue of the electorate, the people. He must hold it with humility. He must not just thump that, oh, I am the deputy president. So what have you done for I the think, people? I think what have you done for the short. people? I just told him, yeah. our, our, uh, the deputy president of this nation, had a lot of humility. Mm -hmm. When his constitutional work was stripped uh, by the head of state to somebody else, they were never, they, we didn't see any collision. We never saw after handshake and his constitutional power being given to somebody else, we never saw William Ruto in a project, uh, launching a project where the Machang is there. He, he, he respected that decision and just stepped back. Oh, and wait, about wait, wait, forming wait, wait, wait. a party. You, you're saying he has never launched 
any project. It didn't run. You <laughs> see, there or, were no pollution. He launched where the, he knew that, that there's nobody to launch this, okay? But no, he never... But he, 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 but do, he. Do, do you get me right? Do you get me right, Ram? <laughs> what I'm saying <laughs> is, what I'm saying is, yes. we didn't see any collision in his constitutional mandate that was given to other to 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 the uh, to those people that the president thought that he trust more what okay. he did is he just stepped down and kept quiet and started following his ambition the second thing he said is uh, he went and formed a party first of all in the jubilee party the uh, the people that, uh, that that were thought to be uh, the the favors of william samuel ruto were stripped of their position and given to those people that were in favor of the uh, the prime minister Raila Amolo Odinga and and the president those who were in chairs were were, were, were chased away from their position so he didn't form a party immediately he tried and told the president let us keep this jubilee party alive until when he felt that this jubilee right. party cannot stand anymore because other people have encroached listen the <laughs> position that are supposed to be given to those who are elected through jubilee party mm. were given to other people that were not even elected through jubilee party so when they felt that uh, we cannot use uh, this jubilee party it has been compromised that is when only recently but he tried from 2017 up to around 2020. Mm. Only recently is when they decided now we are going for UDA. And before even uh, declaring that he's the, uh, he's the party leader of UDA just uh, from some few months ago, he was still a member of Jubilee. So there's no way where he ran away from Jubilee. He was still there as a deputy uh, the <laughs> party leader of Jubilee. Now, but <laughs> until, until he saw that ah. uh, I, the, U, the uh, Jubilee is finished completely, he decided now to join UDA for, for, for the for August uh, <laughs> election. The, this conversation cannot end today. <laughs> but but <laughs> he, he has <laughs> rightly said that he decided to join UDA. Then how can you, and the Political Parties Act is clear, and we expect a leader of the stage of the deputy president to respect the law. How can you belong to two political parties at the same time? But anyway, so, anyway so, let, so, so. let us finish this conversation. And, 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 uh, but before, I, I want to give you um, 30 seconds to have a final word. But right. before we mm. touch on that, just mm. something small. Mm. Um, you, Usawa party. Usawa party. You had the nominations? Nominations have been ongoing. You know, he, 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 he knows that nominations can be carried out by any other method, including consensus, <laughs> including delegate <laughs> system, <laughs> uh, the, where there are more than one uh, contestants. Yeah. There is the ballot. He has How did Usawa party do it? Usawa has used the three methods. Okay. Uh, the, 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 the nominations, the uh, delegates choosing where there are more than one candidate, and uh, in some instances in central Kenya, there, uh, there have been uh, select primaries, and all also right. in, in some other places, there has been consensus among those who are seeking elective office, and it's allowed. So, right. so the, the, the idea of nomination, it's not written, and he knows the law. It is not a must that you go uh, to, 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 to let the people uh, do election. The people will do voting. election all right, all on right. the 9th now, of August. I, I want to give yes. you... Uh, to show, uh, no, 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 no. And you are not going to respond. You are not going to respond <laughs> to that. You are not responding. <laughs> what we are going to do is, I want to give, give you a final word, uh, 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 your parting shot for the day. Yes. 20 seconds now. 20 seconds each. Okay, thank you so much. The debate has been uh, uh, a little bit hot, but uh, it's good to it's good to accept the reality mm -hmm. uh, where you are now and maybe work for future. If you know you are not capable for now, uh, try and join those who are stronger than you. There is no there is no harm in you clapping for others. You, the time for you to clap All for right. others right. will uh, will reach. And All again, uh, I'd like to tell uh, the, the 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 people that. Uh, the only uh, people that are serious about running for the presidential candidate who are serious about you is the only, um, I think, two candidates. The one from Azmio and, <laughs> and uh, UDA party. That I cannot, I cannot fear right. to say. Thank you. Uh, let the me finish by saying um, yes. we also need, um, we also need uh, a, a, a strong deputy president. We have talked about a, lot, uh, a lot about the deputy president. And uh, I think, as per me, I'd like to uh, second in Kenya, Kwanza J.B. Muturi is a good leader. He's a leader that has led the National uh, Assembly and even right. the East African right. National Assembly.
assembly okay. and is a leader with integrity and Thank a father you. figure. Thank you. So I, uh, the, the Usawa party need to give us their running mate also. You All see right. this <laughs> serious. <laughs> All right. I, I would yeah. like maybe to tell him to concentrate on UDA and uh, even JB Mturi is in DP party. So, you know, then he seems to be touching yeah. every corner because he doesn't have direction. I have direction. You're finishing up I'm your appealing time. to the people of Nyamira <laughs> to elect Christopher Alvin Mokaya as their third senator because the time is now and we shall bring the household economic model of Usawa Party to equalize households, to do agribusiness, to do good health care in our county and to ensure that we have the best economic, uh, not just model, but the one that works for the people down there. All right. So God bless Kenya. All right. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you, Alvin. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah. We are so happy. I'm happy too. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. We and Ruto have is this. the president. Do not forget. Ati? The fifth president is Ruto. I'm not afraid to say that. that. No, we don't, I'm no, confident. No. Let's you know, you people let's take this conversation. <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in. <laughs> thank, you, thank you, viewers. Uh, the no. fifth president is Mwangwa Iria. No. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning to you. Thank you so much for being part of Why in the Morning. <laughs>